at the moment of death, we are alone. When, it, when you live a life and you're about to part from this life, you don't take anybody with you. You're alone. Your questioning is alone. But remarkably in this ayah, everything is in the plural. قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُوا تَتَنَزُلُ عَلَيْهِمْ أَلَّا تَخَافُوا وَلَا تَحْزَنُوا Everything is plural. Don't be afraid, all of you. They said our master is Allah. Why is the plural being used if one person's at their deathbed? The idea of a plural here is you may have felt that you're the only one going through this. But centuries before you, a mother went through this when she was putting a baby in the water. And centuries before, us, uh, before that, a man went through this when his father kicked him out of the house. And centuries before that, and centuries before that, there are believers and prophets, good people, all across history and all across the world that you've never met, that you've never known, who've gone through exactly the same struggles you're going through in their own way, and they held on to Allah like you held on to Allah. And you're actually connected to them in this ayah. You're not alone. They may have died thousands of years ago, but you have a deep and intimate connection with them, just like you have a connection with Allah Azza wa Jal. With Allah you're connected by your du'as. And with them you're connected because of the same struggle that you're going through. You know, this is why we make the du'a, Al-Hiqna bis Salihin, join us among the righteous. Join us among the good people. We, we're, you're not alone. You're part of a legacy. There are people before you that have already left that are praying for you, actually. They're congratulating each other of those who haven't yet joined them. They're not going to have fear and grief either. May Allah Azza wa Jal help us navigate our fears and navigate our grief and not be overrun by them. May Allah Azza wa Jal keep us from the, you know, from the emotional torture and the emotional manipulation of others. May Allah Azza wa Jal give us a life of freedom from control of His creation and really truly allow us to be, you know, pure slaves of His in every sense of the word. Barakallahu li walakum fil Quran al